What's up, everybody? Good morning. All that fun jazz. And then, uh... Let's see. We are finally back to Mass Effect after uh, a couple of those delays because of the fact that, you know, a lot of timed bullshit going on that I didn't have enough time to stream and do, so I had to combine the two. <clears throat> but now we are back and happen to remember where we were. <laughs> Maybe I should watch my own streams out. Alright. So, we got that. We need to investigate the facility. Investigate death activities. Investigate samples. Alright. Maroon C Cluster. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. All right, looks like we're going back to the Citadel then. Instead of where I was planning to go. Now, if this is what I'm thinking it is, then we're halfway through this game already. Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. How many ships are you sending to attack Ilos? Ilos is only accessible to the Mu Relay, deep inside the Terminus Systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Secrecy isn't his greatest weapon. The Conduit is. Saren is a master manipulator. The conduit is just a distraction from his real plan to attack the Citadel. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. We won't invade the Terminus systems because of a dream. I'm just over here just like Alex Jones, just freaking, You gotta listen to me! If you don't, if we don't do something about Saren, then he, he's gonna attack with the Reapers and take out the Citadel! One ship going into the Terminus systems won't start a war. I can be discreet. You detonated a nuclear device on Vermeer. I wouldn't call that discreet. Your style served you well in the Traverse, Commander. We recognize that. But Ilos requires a deft touch. We have the situation under control. If Saren finds the conduit, we're all screwed. We have to go to Ilos. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. <laughs> you bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until for the notice you're grounded. Are you insane? After everything I've done, you still don't believe me? I think it's time for you and your team to leave, Commander. This no longer concerns you. The Council can handle this, with my help, of course. Of course, it was all just, you know, throwing me to the wolves so that way he can move up a little bit. Commander, Shepard, I cannot believe they did this to you. I am so sorry. I showed them the truth and they still won't believe. It's not right. You did everything they asked and more. Nobody else could have done what you did. The Council owes you everything, everything. Instead, they strip you of your command and ground the Normandy. I 
I don't care if they ground me, but they refuse to go after Saren. If they don't stop him from finding the conduit, we're all dead. Perhaps we could appeal, and get them to reverse their decision. I pushed them as hard as I could. They wouldn't budge. So you're going to walk away? You will just give up and doom the entire galaxy to extinction? We lost the battle, not the war. I'll figure something out. I believe in you, Shepard. I am with you every step of the way. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, wow. Sorry to interrupt, Commander. Got a message from Captain Anderson. Damn it! Are you spying on us, Joker? No, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. The captain said to meet him at Flux, that club down in the wards. You should probably go meet with him. Welcome to the stream. I'm almost assuming that's Melendra in the chat there. So, what you missed there, because you just got here, we went... We, uh, we went to go talk to the council about dealing with Saren again. They agreed that they're finally going to send, you know, reinforcements and, and actually go after Saren. But when I asked them about going to Ilos, where we know he's going, they were all like, mm, it's a delicate political situation. We can't afford to do that. And when I'm like, hey, no, you need to get off your asses and do it. Stop pussyfooting around. And they were like, you're grounded. You're not my dad! <laughs> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Although I admit, I don't know exactly what we're doing right After now. After years of poor economic performance, Exogeny has announced that its research colony on Pharos is finally returning a profit. New discoveries and a dedicated colonization effort have finally paid off for Exogeny. Exogeny's stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. Let's check what the journal says for that one. Ah, meeting with Captain Anderson. Which means we need to find where we're going first. It's the requisition office. Wards at flux, he might be able to help you get off the citadel. Oh, okay. Wards location flux. I'm glad you came, sir. My oh, man. The Normandy's been grounded. I know, I'm sorry. I don't know why I, I came here in combat armor. I had a message to you before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islas. You have to stop Saren from using the conduit. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. If we steal the Normandy, you're the one left holding the bag. And if Saren finds the conduit, life as we know it is over. The Reapers will destroy us. Humans, Asari, everybody. You're the only one who can stop him, Shepard. So I'll do whatever it takes to get you on the Normandy oh. and off this station. What up, guys? 
stealing the Normandy is mutiny. What if the crew won't help me? The Normandy's your ship now, Commander. Her crew will follow you to the ends of the galaxy. We both know that. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel Control Center. You'll have a few minutes before anyone realizes what happened. That is a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Just make sure you're in the Normandy when the systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. If I can hack into the computer in his office, maybe I can override it. He won't just stand by while you use his computer. Hopefully he won't be there. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The Ambassador will not forgive this, Captain. You will be charged with treason, a capital offense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the Ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel Control. Uh, you decide. It's your risk. It's your call, Captain. I'll break into the Ambassador's office. He made this personal. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy and tell Joker to stand by. How's everybody doing this morning? Tower. And I picked the wrong location because of course I did. Let me just whip out this gun in the middle of a public station. Yeah, I'll teach her to sit there and stare at flowers. Still wishing there was a run button. I am curious about the helmet you always wear, Tally. Does it contain technical augmentation systems? No, living in the clean environment of the flotilla has weakened our immune systems. The environmental suits protect against diseases. I suppose that makes it more likely you will return from your pilgrimage then. You are only truly safe on your flotilla. Ah, well, let's just end the conversation with that note. <laughs> like, oh hey, you know, we're just gonna make this mildly threatening Please statement. Please do not disturb the keepers. Please do not disturb the keepers. So how am I supposed to scan this thing? Welcome to Presidium. Behind me. To your left. You may see keepers involved. The keepers are essential yep. to the smooth operation of the Citadel. Obstructing their daily work will result in harsh. That's all for now. Thank you for using a V. Please do not disturb the keepers. Well, I was I tried. Let's see. I need to go down there, I believe. Slowly trotting along. We'll get to the Normandy someday. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another Profile in Courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. 
A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Batia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Batia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. Yay, elevator music. So glad I can just skip that now. In entertainment news, <laughs> Francis Kim has announced to plans to direct to Hamlet with game. Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kit claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. I don't know why, but my mic is freaking out now. Just does that sometimes, I guess. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Still not really sure why we had to wear our suits out there. Anderson, what are you doing here? I didn't send. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Get us out of here, Joker. Now. Finally got this frigate on my uh, No Man's Sky save file last night. All right. Now for some side missions, because <laughs> that seems appropriate. I've got quite a few of them, actually. But we're gonna head to Ilos. I think I might take care of some of those side missions off screen, or else it's gonna take us forever to get through just the first game, let alone the Message second Message coming third. in. Patching it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics had hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are gonna die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll take the biotics down, Admiral. And I'll try to limit the casualties. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth fleet out. Okay, but I'm guessing that wasn't on Ilos. Which is kind of where we're going. In the golden age of the Prometheans, Ilos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Ilos has been devastated by means, un by means unknown, its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen, wildfires presumably ignited by lightning strikes can be seen burning in the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, it rest Respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. I'm gonna turn up my mic a little bit over there on that side there. Shepard, may I speak with you? I always have time for you, Liara. I do not know what is going to happen on Ilos. I hope we will stop Saren, of course, but. 
Part of me fears we are already too late. There is something I must tell you, in case we fail. Go ahead. I'm listening. These could be our last moments together. Wow, our last wow, wow. To show each other how we wow, feel. Wow. I want this to be special. We don't have to do this. Not unless you're sure. I have never been more sure of anything in my life. Will you join with me, Shepard? Let our bodies and minds unite. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. This is like softcore at best. If that. I think. If not, then I guess I'm banned from Twitch already. Oh, there is a bare butt. By the goddess. That was incredible, Shepard. <laughs> Let's go again! No. Amazing. Five minutes ETA to the Mew Relay. I had better go. Duty calls. You would not want to keep Joker waiting. Shepard, whatever happens on Ilos, I just wanted to say... Thank you. For everything. Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is twenty. Twenty meters? No way we can make a drop in there. We have to try. Find another landing zone! There is no other landing zone! The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option, it's a suicide run. We don't... I can do it. Joker? I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker! Drop us right on top of that bastard. All right. Now we're going to bring Rex and Tali for this one. Get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. Rex has got quite a bit of... quite a few levels for him. Uh, let's go ahead and crank into stasis a little bit here. And then, there we go. 
Kali doesn't have any and neither do I. Yeah, I figured it wanted me to walk, but it was still funnier to do that. That was dumb of him. Come on. It's like right on his neck. There we go. is over here. Anyway. Alright. She can't do anything. You were supposed to use it on the thing. Right along. You know, it wasn't until the third game that I thought the Prometheans just looked like this. Had a couple viewers for a while. Clear this direction out. All right. That's dealt with.
Oh, it's an elevator. Really? It's just an elevator up to here. Wow, and then I have to take the dinky little elevator back down. God, I hate those enemies. This place still has power. It must be running off its own generator. I bet this is the command center for the entire complex. Seren's troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside. We'll have to figure out how to disengage the security lockdown if we ever want to get inside that bunker. Their main tactic wasn't just storm forward. <sighs> Tolly's look pretty banged up. What is going on? Why won't it let me use my freaking scope? All right, fuck them. Just keep going if it's going to sit there and fuck with me like that. I guess it didn't like me doing that right after right after it got its toy up and running. God damn it. Got it. Come on. Seren's already got a head start. We have to go find him before he reaches the conduit. 
Unless he's already found it, then we're just walking into a trap. That's a chance we'll have to take. Hold on. Something's happening. You're too late. Unable to... Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fought Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit. But it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Just completely missed the part where it said the Citadel, because that's, that's that was kind of like you know one of the, if not the most important bit of information that it said. You know, just whatever. Nobody really cares. Like, what even is the whole reason for, you know, doing the thing? I guess I must have broke that thing, like, right away. <laughs> where I'm supposed to be going? Okay. There we go. By the way, they had the audio tuned way down with that. Some kind of trap around bush forest. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Or we just haven't run into it yet. Give it a minute. Right on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm a professional. <laughs> alive through cryogenic freezing.
What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. Alright, let's go through the elevator then. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment, but that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, Chief Overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay. One that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. The Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the Relay is activated and the Reapers invade. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. If he turns on the Relay, the Reapers can wipe out the Council and the Citadel fleet in one fell swoop. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and through it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you had surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. 
Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. Yeah, but understanding them helps you lead, help, can help lead to stopping them. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small-scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon. It's a back door onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down and you killed them? You were programmed to protect them, not kill them. I meant to click the one below this that. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, 
The scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to bypass all the Citadel's external defenses. Correct. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. I'll stop, Saren. Just tell me how. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait. Where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Kinda sucks for the Protheans though. Only a dozen of them lived. God damn, imagine that too. Billions, billions of freaking Protheans. It's tragic. For all their great achievements, the Protheans lost everything. Just like my people. Even their last plan failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. All right. I think I need to go this way. No. Do a flip. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't even right. Come on. Why am I stuck on this rock? I wasn't even going forward. Come on, stupid fucking controls. <laughs> Shit.
I'm just cruising along. There, the conduit. It's incredible. We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these geths aren't going to make it easy on us. Boom. Now it's my job to get to the Citadel and save the council. Hang on, I think you're gonna get a little rough. There is an, I believe there's an alternate ending if you don't make it through the conduit. Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Presidium is experiencing severe system malfunctions across the entire level. All non-emergency personnel must evacuate immediately. Give me a rundown of the damage. We have lost all primary power to the level. Environmental controls are not responding. Class 3 fires are burning in sectors 2, 3, 6, and 7. Civilian casualties are high. I am also detecting numerous unauthorized synthetic life forms throughout the station. They are believed to be hostile. Please approach with caution. Come on. We need to stop Saren before it's too late. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Critical failures detected across all systems. Please begin emergency evacuation. Well, hi, Tolly. I'm just, you know. Right up close to you. It's a nice visor you got there. Sovereign literally gives no fucks.
Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up. We're going outside. So it begins. Basically, our j task is to get to the top. I love how I use my sniper rifle like a semi-auto uh, assault rifle instead. Making my way up there. Quick work of these fellas.
saved his own life by popping that shield at the last second. Pretty close. We're almost underneath them now. go. This is where we fight Saren. So I guess we just went straight to the end of the game. 10-4.
I was afraid you wouldn't make it in time, Shepard. Let's end this! You've lost. You know that, don't you? In a few minutes, Sovereign will have full control of all the Citadel systems. The relay will open. The Reapers will return. I've still got a few tricks up my sleeve. You survived our encounter on Vermeer, but I've changed since then. Improved. Sovereign has upgraded me. Fancy hardware is not gonna save you. You don't understand, Shepard. There is a place for organics in the New Order. The Reapers need men and women of action. People like us. Sovereign recognizes your value. You've impressed it. Surrender to the Reapers, and you will be spared. Join us, and we can find a place for you. I'd rather die than live like that. Then you will die. And your companions. Everyone you know and love. Everyone you've ever met. Don't you understand? You will all die. The Reapers can't be stopped. Not by the Protheans. Not by you. The cycle always continues. Sovereign's controlling you through your implants. Don't you see that? The relationship is symbiotic. Organic and machine intertwined. A union of flesh and steel. The strengths of both, the weaknesses of neither. I am a vision of the future, Shepard. The evolution of all organic life. This is our destiny. Join Sovereign and experience a true rebirth. No more stalling, Saren. Let's finish this. Do anything because I was locked down. Damn it. Got him. That was getting dicey. shard of reinforced glass right to the gut.
Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension. Main drives offline. Kinetic barriers down 40%. The Council is on board. I repeat, the Council is on board. Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. I'm here, Joker. We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Endura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Me too. I don't remember how they react to it. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Make sure he's dead. Oh yeah, I completely forgot Rex actually wanted to be the one to put put a bullet in this guy's dome. <laughs> and that's what he did. Put a bullet in his dome. He's dead. God damn it, he keeps overheating my systems.
Gotta get rid of these ads. Pretty good glimpse of what chance. these guys Take can that do. Monster these down, no matter what the cost. Got more death. We did it. We took out a Reaper. It only took our entire no. fucking fleet. safe now. Where's the commander?
Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. You saved not just our lives, but the lives of billions from Sovereign and the Reapers. Commander Shepard, your heroic and selfless actions serve as a symbol of everything humanity and the Alliance stand for. And though we cannot bring back those valiant soldiers who gave their lives to save ours, we can honor their memories through our actions. Humanity has shown it is ready to stand as a defender and protector of the galaxy. You have proved you are worthy to join our ranks and serve beside us on the Citadel Council. Counselor, on behalf of Humanity and the Alliance, we thank you for this prestigious honor and humbly accept. We will need a list of potential candidates to fill Humanity's seat on the Council. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Hands down. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. <laughs> are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. I'd rather have the Captain on the Council than any politician I know. I think it's an inspired choice. The Council would welcome him with open arms, should he accept. I'm honored, Counselor. As Humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. Sovereign's defeat marks the beginning of a new era for both Humanity and the Council. Don't start patting yourselves on the back just yet. Sovereign wasn't alone. The rest of the Reapers are still out there. And I'm gonna find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. Humanity is ready to do its part. United with the rest of the Council, we have the strength to overcome any challenge. When the Reapers come, we must stand side by side. We must fight against them as one. And together, we will drive them back into dark space. So that was the first one. And a damn good one. The sequel is widely regarded as, as the best one of them, but I personally really, really like this one. It's where it all began, although it is buggy as fuck. Uh, a lot of the bugs that are in this one are non-existent in the second one. You don't have nearly as much trouble. that song's actually got a uh, copyright to it or not more than likely so we're gonna have to close that one out but that's it that's the second game or first game 